Yo, I could have planned that a little bit better. Hello, everybody. Welcome to The Brony Show, episode 203. I am your host, as always, Circuit Main, here for a few hours before the official release of Fallout 4. So I'm sure some people are already chomping at the bit, ready to go explore the apocalyptic wasteland of Baltimore. No, not Baltimore. It's Boston. Pop, I'm already pop, losing pop, my pop, mind. Uh -huh. We're not even a minute in, and I'm already losing it. But in any case, uh, we're here to bring you um, everything that's happened in the Bernie community before you go ahead and seal yourselves in your bunkers and play Fallout 4 for the next five days. Straight. How awesome. In any case, uh, let's go ahead and introduce our panel here. Unfortunately, right now, we are not going to be joined by Comet this week. Uh of uh, events earlier today have uh, left him a little bit downtrodden and he uh, needs to bow out for the show today so we, we will not have comment hopefully Blink will join us here in a little bit I'm sure he's just taking care of some things off screen and will be on the podcast as soon as he can though we do have some great uh, a great uh, panel here we have Suki of the Otaku Ascended <laughs> I don't know, because I'm just thinking about this week's episode. I'm like, eh. Yeah, I kind of feel you. But we'll get to that in a little bit. But we also have joining us, uh, Tokoi. Hello, and by the way, second, it's the fun apocalypse because in Fallout, you can have all the fun you want and not be reprimanded. Unless you do something really bad. All right. And hopefully we should be joined by Sketchy Wolf here in a little bit. So there's that excitement, and um, well, we got plenty to talk about and plenty to go through, so let's uh, get started, and what better way to get started than to talk about our weeks with What's Up Bronies? So, What's Up Bronies? Uh, hmm. uh, let's see, it's a few weeks old, but I did see Goosebumps, and it's not a bad film. It's definitely one of those films that trying to be scary but it falls flat really i thought they weren't trying for scary they thought they were just going for the stupid humor that goosebumps normally had well here's the thing i've pictured it's not scary until you think about and spoilers if you haven't seen it but the female lead yeah that's from jack black's mind sorry rl stein's mind and she comes back in the end the book that she was from is bent, and you have to wonder, if those two get it on, is the male lead getting it on with Jack Black's imagination of how a little girl should be? Um, I think you might have uh, revealed a little bit more than you really should have. Fair enough, but... Yeah, well, it's been out for about a month now. And maybe, so and maybe some of us were still planning on going to see it. I am sorry. Yeah, that's that, not it, yeah, that's, that's not the major twist, though. Well, then just don't don't say anything else. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, um, uh, does anybody else have anything they want to jump in with? What's up, Brony? Uh, let me see. Well, more people are here this time than that would hear me talk say this than yesterday. But yeah, f uh, fi finished Life is Strange on Saturday. And <laughs> and uh, yeah, they. The uh, okay, basically the game has two endings. One that I thought was good, just could have, just honestly could have used like a little bit more in the actual like footage and stuff like that. Um, uh, yeah. The other, the other ending, the other ending just basically goes. You just basically pretty is like thirty seconds long and just goes. Pretty much makes you think. Yeah, you made the wrong choice. Deal with it. Oh, ow! What are you talking about? Uh, life, life is strange. Life is strange. strange. Ah. Apparently, life is also a dick. Well, would you be willing to destroy the world to save one person? 
What's the point of destroying the world if you only save one person? That's ca- that's yeah, that's kind of what the game does. And seriously, Toko, seriously, Toko, I'm trying not to actually spoil anything because there are still people that are going on that one. I did not say that's how it ended until you chimed in. In any except case, you, except you just said what the biggest choice in the game was. Did I say it was the biggest choice though? Oh, right, Tokai, Tokai, in all honesty, just don't talk, don't drop any hints about anything. Sorry, man, but you really are a spoiler central at this point. Uh, I am sorry. It's just I haven't felt really happy in a while. Well, don't spoil it for the rest of us. Video game, go fuck around with Bionicles, <laughs> God damn it! All right. They're all right next to me, and I have fun with them. But still, loneliness. Okay, okay, well, I can we'll, go get some friends. I've got one they won't leave alone. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, Blink, do you got a what's up? Uh, yeah. On the side note, I'll probably I won't be on the show really properly tonight. I'll probably be dicking around on the side. I'll let you know, boss, if I'm going to do a doodle thing. But on the side point, um, uh, my work week is going to be fucking weird, folks. So um, if you may actually see me stream something on Friday, no promises. But uh, we'll see what happens because I don't have to work Friday. I don't have to work Wednesday either. Um, work's been fucking weird, but it's been interesting so far to say the least. At least I'm getting paid, you know. I um, said so I might try do some drawing tonight. Uh, if anybody, I said I might do my own thing, but hey, if anybody wants to throw in a quest, I'll take a glance, or I have uh, Josh just keep an eye on the chat or whatever. But uh, I'll let folks know whenever I start doing that. I'll keep an eye on both chats. And we will also put up a little bug in the corner to show his. Zoom in a little bit better than you did last. The first time we did this, it was a really good zooming, but last week's was a little weird. Well, I kind of kind a little had a combination of things going on with that, but I should be able to hopefully set it up a little bit better this time. I'll let you. I'll let you know in a bit if I do. I'm probably gonna run into a 20-minute uh, uh, fucking void run on Warframe with the guys, and we'll see where it goes from there. I'll give you a heads up if I do smart things. I might still draw, but I may not. I may not stream. So that's the bigger question: is if I'll actually stream it. So cool. All right. Well, uh, and for what's up, Bernie? Out, and I'll just probably watch. I'll just watch the stream on the side. Yeah. Any case, so for what's up, Bernie? With me, not much really. I'm for it's been. Also, take it this week, yay! Okay. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a bit of a bit of a dull. Actually, no wait, I do got something. Uh, I actually finally uh, traded up from the uh, wedge of the uh, Nintendo 2DS to an actual proper Nintendo 3DS, a new one, no less, with the uh, Zelda insignia on it. Unfortunately, I made a horrible, horrible mistake and did not get my data transferred from the 2DS to the 3DS. That did not end well. Uh, essentially, I lost a good chunk of my saves for my downloaded games, and I had to contact Nintendo, try to get my old account pried off of my 2DS and freed up so I could put it on the 3DS, which managed to complete itself yesterday on Sunday, so I was able to get everything somewhat restored. So that was a, that's a pretty interesting thing, but I am enjoying the new 3DS, so it is... Kind of crazy actually seeing the 3D effects for once instead of just seeing the uh, stupid uh, flat panel thing that the 2DS is. So, mm. yeah, a little bit of coolness there. Other than that, though, it really hasn't been much going on with me. I'm hoping for some good news co- in the next coming days, but worst case, I do have all of Wednesday off, which is a pretty a nice surprise. So I might end up tr- try doing something earlier in the morning before Winchester does his thing. And Brightside Boss, you get to play through all your favorite games once again. Do you want to spoil them for me too? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Please, I don't delve that deep. I know, I know. I, I, there are a few games that I would be interested in replaying. Some of them maybe not so much. Then again, I played. I probably replayed uh, the Ace Attorney games about five times over. So, <laughs> go figure there. Well, it's actually a fun logic game if you think about it. I just I just like the fun game in general, really. Nice story, all that fun stuff. <laughs> Phoenix Wright and Logic, he says. <laughs> That's, screw that. Everybody plays that game the same way. For keep tr- th- Try everything until it works. <laughs> Unless you actually pay attention, then maybe you'll get it to work once or twice. Uh, uh, like, here's the thing. I, I, I'll admit my experience with them is more Let's Plays, but I paid close-ass attention to every single thing that was said. 
And even even I was going like, what the hell are you supposed to use? Yeah, there, there are a few cases you're supposed to like come out with this thing out of the blue and you're not even sure how in the world they put two and two together on it. I really don't know. Anyway, um, that, that is a little bit on the gaming side. Um, unfor fortunately, unfortunately, I'm not really going to be jumping into Fallout 4 just yet. I'm probably going to wait and see how the initial release and reviews actually are. As much as I like Bethesda, and they do tend to be all right when it comes to game releases, I'm, I'm still a little bit more skittish about new releases nowadays. Plus, I actually got a copy of Rodia the Sky Soldier for Wii U uh, earlier today, so I might be playing that a little bit. That might be fun. Anywho, um, I think that's about it for uh, What's Up Brony for now until Sketchy can get here, so... We'll go ahead and move on to the news. We do got quite a bit of news going on. And the first off, the big news, which is um, an unfortunate thing. I believe I mentioned it last week uh, but or a week before. However, Twilight Shipfic folder is going to be closing its doors. Which is definitely sad times for those of you who have not had a chance to get into uh into the game yet because if you don't get it now unless you get lucky or find somebody who's selling it you may never get into it bright side it is on tabletop simulator yep but um for those of you who are involved interested right now on their uh, website they are selling the uh they're still selling what copies they have left of uh Twilight Sparkle Shipfic folder. It looks like they still got the core deck, a few of the base expansions, and some mini expansions, but a lot of stuff has been sold out already. And another thing about this uh, caveat is apparently the sale is probably going to end today. I could be wrong though. I'm I'm reading it off of what I information I can glean. It might yeah it might be ending today. So streamers, you guys still have a chance of getting a hold of this stuff. However, people watching on archives, this is basically a gi a giant tease of something you might have missed forever. Mm. Forever. No, okay. Forever. Let's see. I uh, thought it ended. Uh, apparently, it didn't end yesterday because the the site is still up. It's still letting you make orders and everything. Near as I could tell, it should still. It looks like it still should be going. It's really a shame, though. I almost got all of the expansions, too. The only one, one, only one I did not get in time. Actually, that's... Where was that one I couldn't get in time? Oh, yeah, the um, the 2015 panel cards. It looked like it was in stock, but the moment I finally got a whole, got into there, it was already sold out. So, yeah, I missed out of that. that that's really a sh pain, pain in my butt for me. Ah, well, c'est la vie. Eh, you can always find the digital versions and print them out on good cardstock. Nah, I could do that. But it's still a shame, and it is a really fun game. So if you guys haven't had a chance to pick it up yet, you got a little bit of extra cash, go for it. It's the last chance to really do it. All right, now next, um, speaking, getting in closer and closer to the actual Christmas holiday, because right now we're in Thanksgiving territory. Turkeys beware, I am not putting up my Christmas tree yet. The My Little Pony Christmas album has released on both Amazon and iTunes and actually ranked number one on both of them of a little while ago, in fact, this on Friday. So people Dang. are buying it up in droves. And speaking of Christmas music, there's a station that's the official Christmas station, and I am air quoting that my town and they are saying vote when we should start playing Christmas music after Thanksgiving dear God is it that difficult of a concept yeah, they're at least trying to be proactive mm -hmm. and saying you have a choice tell us when you want to hear music hmm. you know what <laughs> and everybody who's ever worked in, in a store will go no never <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I it's on YouTube. I know that the that somebody already probably uploaded all this music on YouTube. This is for people who actually want to buy the digital album, and I do endorse people doing that. Granted, yeah. I I understand sometimes, but money is a thing. Sometimes you are not able to buy an album, or maybe there's something preventing you from actually being able to access it. If you can buy it, 
It's $10 for the entire digital album. Something specially created with some of it brand new music that nobody's ever heard of before. Give a little. It's not going to kill you. Uh, we are in the time where everything should be free and no one should get paid for anything. Bullshit. That's never going to be a time. Yeah. Look, I'm... In, in the immortal words of Super Trap, give a little bit. Get a little bit of your love? <laughs> and your money. <laughs> give a little love and it all comes back to you. But in, in all honesty, though, you know, these people really do work hard on it. They're unfortunately getting things for free does not give them paychecks. Yeah, some money, some of the money goes to some grit, big giant corporate empire, but it does go to the actual creators as well. So, you know, you're you're not you're not hurting everybody. Well, you are. You're not hurting the big people. You're just hurting everybody else too. Ah, oh, jeez, I sound like those stupid um, advertisements that they used to have in the yeah. theaters. I was gonna say, yeah, you may not want to give money to the big to the big people. You may only care about the artists. But guess what? Those big, those bigger people are the ones that decide whether or not the artist has a career. Mm, yeah, true. so it sucks, but it, it right now until they actually make their own music and you can t give them money directly, um, like through Patreon or something like that. You, you got to do what you got to do, especially for something that's good. Mm -hmm. Any case, um, yeah, music uh, album is out now. I'm gonna go ahead and move on before I keep sticking my foot further into my mouth. Now merchandise. Who loves merchandise? Mm. Well, I kind of like it. Baseball I like it. Or... How about Equestria Girls, the chibi dolls? Oh, these things. Yeah, they... Oh, wait. They actually it... look decent. They, they're actually... We actually have some images to go with the dolls this time. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was going to say, because I, I think we already talked about this. We, we, yeah. got, we did talk about them, but we never actually got a chance of what they actually look like. Oh, hang on a second. I was in Minecraft. Let me let me pop let me pop out the player and zoom it in. Yeah, I see it right now, and that's a, a little bit more decent size, if you ask me. Yeah. Previously, what we had to compare was uh, this old image of the just them standing there, which yeah, it did give us a rough idea, but eh, we we still were kind of missing something. Mm -hmm. Now we're getting an actual better idea of what they're going to be looking like and everything. Yeah. And they actually look like posable figures as opposed to statuettes. Actually, they look like actual figures instead of giant and Barbie doll knockoffs. Yep. With also, let's see. By the way, I already, I, already, I already know what that's supposed to be in her hand, but it looks like she's holding a beer. <laughs> we'll go with that. It's a beer. <laughs> Twilight Sparkle's officially a beer drinker. And Fluttershy, <laughs> she's a pill pusher. You can see those pills right there next to whatever the heck is that pink, the pink face mask. Little yellow pills. Are you sure those aren't cornbread? Uh, no. Unfortunately, the only real thing I can't figure out is how big these... Oh, no, I actually got some information. Apparently, these uh, figures are four and a half inch fit sized figures. Okay. Uh, not, not bad. Yeah, they're a little less so, than half a foot, so that's not too bad. Uh, we have a price point on them yet? Yes, we do. The, right now, uh, Entertainment Earth is um, selling them early, and that is hella zoomed in. Let's bring it down. Twenty dollars for both Twilight and Fluttershy, apparently. Uh, ten bucks. Ten bucks a figure. Well, ten bucks. Okay, twenty bucks for two figures, and well, ten, you could say two and a half because you got Spike there. And Angel. Uh, no, let's face it. Spike is a pet at this point. Yeah. Well, in well, the in question goes universe. universe. Yeah. Well, in that universe, but since you got Fluttershy's angel there, and you got Twilight Spike. Hmm. And a kitty. And a kitty. But yeah, basically $10 for them. Ten, $10, uh, so $10 each out of that, and then but you're also including all the accessories, so eh, not a, that's, that's about actually average price point, I would say. Yeah, it's a pretty fair yeah. price point for what you're getting. Let's see. That is a George Takei uh, bobblehead right up top there. What are you gonna do? <laughs> and oh given my. its price compared to like something like Lego has, yeah, it's a pretty decent thing. Yep. And, then and you, get more you know what's even better than this? What? The fact that Sketchy Wolf has joined us. Praise be the Sketchy Wolf. Praise be to the artist. 
Hey, Sketchy. By the way, you might be muted if you're talking. Okay, I'm not sure if he's muted or not at this point. Uh, his image is a bit pixely. Well, no, that, that's always like that. All right. Uh, he'll join, he'll be with us in a second here if he uh, doesn't figure out that he's muted yet. Okay, now uh, who wants to have more uh, My Little Pony clothing that guys can't wear? Or probably Not shouldn't I. wear. Wait, I was gonna say, do you mean as in we fit, as in we physically can't wear it, or that we should, or that we shouldn't? Well, I'll let you be the judge of that. Uh, there is another. There was a store called Pop Rages that has recently uh, uh, announced that they are going to be going into pony fashion. By the way, hearing Pop Rages reminds me of the whole Bolden Jam and the Holograms movie. Yeah, we'll we'll get into that never. Mike's hot. Mike's hot. Sketchy. Yeah. We can hear you now, Sketchy. Hello. Hey, Hello, Sketchy. Sketch. Or is this Sketch Dad? Hold on, I had to plug my mic in. Ah, there you are. Headphones in. Ah, hey, Sketchy, welcome. Fallout 4. Yes, <laughs> Fallout 4. Everybody's <laughs> excited for it, and we're even going to make sure we end the show a little bit early for those that got it pre-ordered so they can go and grab their copies. No, it's awesome if you digitally download it. Yeah, you know, living on the West Coast, we get it at 9 o'clock. Yeah, but either case, we're going to end it a little bit early because I know people will just be dropping like flies the moment that it's officially released. Yep. Yep. So, well, continuing on here, um, you're joining us just as we're showing the brand new uh, clothing line made by Pop Rages for Pop Rages? Yes, for girls. <laughs> Sporty tops and leggings that are so freakishly tight. If a guy ever wears it, well, I give him kudos, but that's about it. He'll probably never have children either way. Uh, those well, pants are tighter than you, seventy Sams. Yeah. I need that. I need that top. It will show. It'll. It, it'll show off my chest so well. The top will show off my bulging biceps like none other. Uh, it's only shy is the manliest of all ponies. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, also Sergey, you gotta remember, skinny jeans on dudes is a thing. Yeah. No, I know it's a, I know it's a thing. I know it's a thing, and I can mock it all I want. Even if they're not skinny. <laughs> no worse. Even. Uh, no, yeah. No, no, no. So I, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I like jeans and all, but you will never see me in one of the in a, in a pair of those. I like jeans where I can actually sit down without it feeling like my legs are about to be squeezed like toothpaste. Uh, mine's more of the waist area, personally. Yeah. Fair enough. Anyway, um, yeah, so new, uh, another clothing line that um, may be interesting to see, but I, none of us will really be delving into. Unless, unless you do, then, you know, it's all all your all power to you, man. Now, man. Play School! Play School has um, shown more figures now, plushie figures. <laughs> well, that is cute as hell. Yeah, e even the Applejack face right there, that's just wow right there. The only problem I have is the apples in our eye. But she's the apple of our eye. No, it's a no, it's adorable. You shut your whore mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I well, wouldn't have a problem if it was just the normal circles. It's the apples is, that make me tittle my What head do you want? Go, this is for one year olds for crying out loud. I know. But and I know it, Blake would go for it. But in that case, Pinky Pie. What the hell is wrong with her head? <laughs> yeah. oh, Actually, gracious. it's not curly. It's it's like um, it's kind of looked like it got shaved short or something like that. No, 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 no. I'm not even talking about the hair. Yeah, like, head. Okay, yeah okay. That, that head. That's okay, okay. off. By a Real middle quick, bit. circuit. Put put Applejack and put this one next next to each other, and you'll see what the hell is wrong with Pinkie Pie's head. Oh wait, that... ah, get back here. Oh, hey, sweet. I didn't know I could do that. Yeah, hello. Wait, apparently, Pinkie Pie, apparently Pinkie Pie got uh, got punched above the eye. Uh, yeah. oh, oh, I see it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your head the really hard. Got the Martian head thing going on there, yeah. Uh, hold on, I think I know what the problem is. Applejack has hair covering where he is, uh, so we don't uh, see that. Well, yeah, no, but we're no. still making, we're still no, going to make fun can, of it either way. No, you can pretty, you can kind of see it. You can kind of see what that area. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll but tell you what. How about we do something a little bit more hilarious and 
throw somebody else in that we haven't ever seen before. Who? Uh, who? Star Song. Who? Exactly. <laughs> All right, calling it now. Love child between Pinkie Pie and Twilight. Oh God. Maybe it's a love child between Pinkie Pie and Applejack. I mean, those are the other two. Why not? Uh, fur color and look at the. the oh come on! Stripes. Fur color does not de does not denote heredity. True. But yeah, there we go. Now we got now we got two ponies and one that nobody's ever heard of before, and Applejack is still missing her hat. Though admittedly, that picture right there is damn adorable. Yes, Applejack is the cutest plushie of one year olds. Yeah, you got it. Now for something a little bit more terrifying, articulated ponies. Now, we mentioned these a little while ago, but yes, ponies with articulation have started to pop up in Amazon. It just reminds me of Mock Kick, the transforming horse. But yeah, the uh, instead of uh, just being a stand, standing figure, now you can actually move their legs and brush their mane. Ooh. You know, and apparently Twilight likes tea. Well, she did have tea with Fluttershy. Hmm. How about articulated Equestria Girls? Uh, no. They have to be We already standing. have those. Don't you know their ha their knees are in their freaking let their shoes? They can't be articulated. Yeah, I was gonna say. Well, technically, technically, we have articulated ones because I mean, those chibis are. Yep. Articulated. Oh yeah, the chibis are a little articulated, so I can go with that. Yeah. They definitely seem Faces like standard shoulder, elbow, knees, hips type of thing. Yep, and we also got a Rainbow Dash articulation with uh, apparently I Love Manhattan. Go, hat, go figure. You actually have to make the stupid hat, though. Eh. I think. Anyway, and there's also Coco Pamel with her uh, Red Wave rack. Oh, how I see the fanboys of Coco Pamel getting this. You know, Are you kidding? This is perfect. This is an actual callback to the ep to the episode of the play on uh, on the Manhattan streets. Ready takes Manhattan. Yeah, no, the other but, one. Yeah. By the way, by the way, Circuit, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and put it out there. When when you're not quite paying attention to what you're saying, all, when when all I hear is Coco Pamel and her runway rack, that doesn't exactly. <laughs> <make sense>. <laughs> 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 okay, um, there, there we go. That's that's gonna Coco haunt me for now. Uh, uh, runaway rack only nine ninety nine at the Holiday Inn. Oh boy! <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, and um, now the now for the uh, collector that actually likes the um, really collectible figures, the next series of. Pi of a collectible figures, Pinkie Pie family is starting to rear its head, and uh, well, here's what we got. So let's see. That's so, actually hey, that's adorable. really good. Yeah, these are really good figures. I'd say if you're going to collect anything, collect these. Yeah, these these deserve to be collected. Yeah. So I guess we're go I guess we're going with the idea of uh, Mrs. Cake basically being sort of like a uh, a secondary mother. Yeah, why I not? think that's more or less confirmed by this point. Yep. So yeah, we also got we got Twilight Sparkle and the ice cream shop. Does anybody else think that the ice cream is like trying is a, is like turning into a monster and trying to consume her? I uh, actually, I, oh, I was. Oh yeah, I see it. I was just trying really, really hard to find a way to make the Twilight Sparkles balloon joke in there. I couldn't do it. But I wanted I'm to Twilight do it. Sparkle, and I like books. Uh, I also what? like ice cream. Twilight Sparkles. Blue. It's Twilight Sparkles Tentacle Monster. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, we also got joining up, uh, joining us on this is Cranky Doodle, and his cart. Oh, okay, what? so now we have. Okay, so well, I guess this makes sense because I mean, you got you got Pinkie Pie's second mom, you got her sister. Of course, you need the ass of the family. Nah. <laughs> well, yeah. Also, I, I, what I can't figure out is why they got Cranky Doodle pushing the welcome wagon. Mm. And he's maybe even got the just, freaking hat and everything there. Maybe they just didn't want to have all his junk in a wagon. But all his junk is in a... Uh, he's carrying another wagon with a bunch of junk. 
Sugar exactly. cutter. Well, I mean, no, 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 you don't get it. That makes him a hauling ass. <laughs> oh, there you go. He's hauling ass. I love it. <laughs> He's the ass man. You know, I do wonder, though. Wait, Billy Gunn? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I do wonder, though, is there a band called Hall and Oats, and they actually have Hall, Hall and Oats as their names? Yeah, John Hall. Yeah, yeah. Daryl Hall and John Oats. Yeah. Now I'm talking about ponies. No. Moving along. But yeah, there's this. And now, uh, for the last little bit of merchandise news, um, this is actually a follow-up on a Russian uh, on a Russian figure that we talked about last week. The actual images have uh, started to pop up, and they actually look really good. Huh. That rarity in them bedroom eyes, though. What do you think, Sketch? Oh, I'm gonna buy a, a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't. I think that I think the Rainbow Dash is actually pretty good. There, you got the just a sm big smirk one there. <laughs> and actually, I think it's similar to the testing, testing one, two, three, where she's on the stool. And actually, with that easel, it kind of looks like it. And here's another fun thing. Uh, apparently. Just for a, a kind of a hilarious notice, it looks like Twilight Sparkle is doing the Princess Celestia stand there, with where she's just standing with one hoof raised. I think that's just a remold of Celestia. <laughs> well, it probably is, but it's still a funny joke. Yeah, true. Just I'm standing with one foot in the sky. Mm. All right. Well, that's it for the merchandise news. Now we're going to go on to the card game. Card game. The card game. Oh. You win. You may <laughs> I wish it was a card, card game. Card. That would be fun. <laughs> My but Little Pony card game? That'd be awesome. It would It would be sweet. But yes, the card game <laughs> It'd be is... like Grand Theft Auto in Ponyville. Mm. Ooh, I would love that. But yes, oh, that the card was... game is actually going to be doing its pre-release at the end of the week here. So if you have not checked out your local card gaming stores and you want to enjoy the fall, the high magic pre-release, I would recommend doing so. However, if you're not sure or you are curious about what is to come, we got a little bit more information about all of the different cards as well as one of the structure decks that are going to be getting released. Starting off with the tokens. By the way, Figment now reminds me of Flowey from Undertale. I'll take your word for it. But yes, uh, several of the cards of the game have an ability to create token characters, which obviously you can see, in this case, Figment is one of such token characters. But yes, uh, it's not just uh, purple uh, flowers of death. You also have Spitfire that could summon legions of Pegasus. Maud, who could summon legions of rocks. Minuet that could summon legions of earth ponies. How does that work? Uh, hmm. They got really bad dental from having to use their teeth a lot, so she uses her magic to heal them. Interesting way to put it. Maybe. And Let, like let's the, see, creature. Uh, no, they are not scapegoats from Yu-Gi-Oh. They are actual token creatures. They are. They have power. They have the ability to contribute. If anything, they're just like little swarms of annoyance that can easily um, that can overwhelm problems or give you little things that you can sacrifice for other card effects. By the way, card I made effects? vaguely creepy, card effects. very, very angry. Scapegoats were tokens, though. I'm not arguing that. But so there were several different magic cards that were also tokens as well as other card games that had tokens. Anyway, moving on, uh, of course, we got Princess Luna and her ability to summon evil plants. Feed me, Seymour. And apparently, uh, DJ Pony and Octavia can summon unicorns. What? <laughs> oh, well, to be fair. Dude, you are, you are, uh, dude, Sketchy, you are heavily underestimating the power of music, man. No, you're underestimating the power, the power of a music, of a mobile music ca uh, cannon. We are literally... Second, it is basically a base cannon on wheels. Wow. Roll with wow. it. <laughs> it's not just a base cannon. You also have a. You also have the um, cello, I think. Actually, did we ever figure out if that was a cello or something else? I think it was cello. Hmm. 
that, it's a oh, chill yeah, that's... But yeah, you basically got you got a combination of both uh, techno music and inter- instrument music rocketing towards you. Of course, you're going to be able to summon unicorns. Actually, wait a yep. minute. You know, that, yeah, that should be a cello, but there is only one. It, God dang it! I'm sorry, I'm mm-hmm. going on this, but there is one detail that makes me think it's a bass. God What's, dang it! There's four knobs at the top. That means that suggests four strings. Oh, good, mm, good catch. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the so yeah, she's so, playing it rockabilly style. Oh, ding, 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 ding. Yeah, but <laughs> Octavia and DJ Pony can uh, bring out unicorns, and Should, finally I four strings. I thought I had six. Oh my god, mm-hmm. that sounds like a great idea for a picture. I'm gonna do that. Rockabilly Octavia is standing on a base, just like rocking out on it. <laughs> well, there was that Thunderstruck video where Hillbilly basically did Thunderstruck. And here is probably the most interesting uh, token summoning card, Furball. An actual ball of fur. Oh, yeah. la, 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 la. Huh. Okay, never, never mind. Creature has, creature has uh, corrected me. All right. But yeah, I got, we're joined here by Dil Gris now, who is our um, basically our king of cards when it comes to the My Little Pony card game to help give us a... Help me give a preview of the High Magic set that's going to be doing a pre-release this weekend. Woo! So he's Woo! your Yugi to your Joey. Ay, ay, ada. Okay. Uh, so, um, Yugi, you want to help us out with this? Um, I can already tell just from the amount of support we have for friends with two or less costs or two or less power from previous sets that the critter tokens are going to be a thing. Also, um, as long as you can provide proof that you have the actual card, you can, um, and the proper number of copies for it, you can proxy event or, or cards as long as your TO will let you. So what we potentially have on our hands is people will just hold on to three copies of this and then print off whatever critter card they want. So me personally, I'll probably have the bear or something unrelated, but... I'm looking forward to co- to token spam. <laughs> yeah, that'll definitely be fun. I uh, mean, I could already see an interesting plan with the uh, unicorns and maybe a good action token deck because, yeah, just the unicorns prepared ability right there. That that's gonna get vicious if you can get a face off going with three of them on the same problem. Also, uh, Rarity's ability in the first wave uh, that I know it's on a boost side whenever you play her. But yeah, th- these are just the token cards. Let's go ahead and move on to the other um, thing that we have here. Um, uh, actually, this is yeah. uh, another. You, this is actually a little bit of a surprise for the card game itself, and uh, something I'm excited to see. Uh, Sonata Dusk is actually going to be in the uh, set here, and they potified Sonata. Yep. And that was that... done by Pixel Kitties, I think. There's no way it couldn't have been. Yeah, it's... whenever it's custom art, it's usually her. Yep. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Who, who didn't see this coming? <laughs> I actually uh, did. I did not see the Sonata Dust coming. In fact, the uh, the flavor text was even more hilarious. They actually referenced fighting as magic in the flavor text. Well, it's the yeah. first time we get to see her done as a pony, right? Officially? Well, if, on something officially, official. yes. On something a little bit more official than just fan art. Yeah. I was pretty I'm sure this the was comics, coming. But that's the cyan base. Which is funny but, uh, because te- technically it is fan art that's used. Yeah, it is technically fan art, but it's officially sanctioned fan art. So I don't Wait, know. It, get, it gets crazy if you really think Wait, about it. Wait, does that mean it's no longer yeah. fan art? <laughs> it's still fan art, but it's fan art that's being paid for by the big wig. So it was, <laughs> it was commissioned by Interplay. She there we go. Work. We'll go with that. Yeah. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, I kind of saw this coming when they did Nightmare Star. <coughs> I was like, okay, that's that's not in the canon as far as we know. So yeah, um, things. Yeah, there are go- they the card game is going to be introducing different things that are not going to be official show canon. The of course this being just so we can have a little bit more fun with the card game and so they don't have to be limited to just what is ultimately in the show. And if you'll excuse me for a moment, I literally pumped a bunch of liquids in my liquid in my lungs. Stop I'm breathing trying- and choke for a second. I'm exactly <laughs> stop so breathing and choke. Talk <laughs> for a little bit. <laughs> oh, we got another Discord. Mostly harmless. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, this week's episode showed that. Uh, this week's Alexis. episode, to, to me, was it was very, very meh. Yeah, it's a well, meh episode. You know, babe, I, we'll, I guess we'll talk about it a little bit more later, but yeah, I'll kind of, I'll yes. kind of put two cents in on I, that. I have not seen it yet, hence why I'm not staying for the whole episode. Uh, and amongst other things. That said, Suki, I am actually hosting um, Gigabyte's pre release tournaments this week. Neat. Uh, if I can make it out there, I will. Mm-hmm. Cool. And I'm looking... Dale, you can watch the episode here. I know. I just got other stuff I need to do. I will be here next week and for the finale week, though. That's for sure. I can't believe this season's ending in two weeks. It just blows my mind. Wait, what? I'm just, surpri- I'm just for some reason I'm just surprised that it's that it's actually ending on the weekend after Thanksgiving. Yeah, I don't know why. Sense, I, I figured I figured they'd be doing some kind of like marathon or something to, that they'd be preempting it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait, well, wait. It's Tony's is not... ending. Uh, the season, season. We have season six. To look no, forward. no, I know that, but it's just like, yeah. In two weeks, there's a two two part finale. Is it two weeks or three weeks? Uh, it's uh, 28, so... Three weeks, weeks I guess. Yeah, so this Saturday, but... Wait, yeah, one, two, three, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and then we're all going to be sitting there in the doldrums. If the timing is right, that means we might get more in the summer-ish? Uh, I'm seeing spring at the earliest, late spring at the latest. I want to say there was a four-month gap last time, but I'm not sure. Um, with the new set, see, I kind of caught between a rock and a hard place because um, I play test for the game, so I'm not entirely sure what all has been shown and what hasn't because, well, NDAs and such. Yeah. All right. Well, what we have so far in the way of shown, we have a few cards. Um. We have been showing, show, seeing um, token cards. We also got uh, a few of the um, new color combinations that have come out. The high mag- one of the uh, ke- theme decks has been uh, <laughs> released uh, for a preview, of course. Mm-hmm. And also the Sonata Dusk. And that's pretty much about it that I can recall off the top of my head. Right. So what I will say is there are certain cards that you're like, that's so bad um, in the context of what's come out. You're kind of like, why does that exist? But you have to remember that the game does have a... Uh, oh, okay, what's the flip condition for him? Um, when in a Troublemaker is uncovered there, you may flip the card. Ah. Um, gotta remember that this game has a block format now. So, for instance, the Nightmare Moon Troublemaker is super rare from this past set, or from Equestria and Odysseys. Like, there's another Troublemaker, I want to say in set 3, that does a similar thing better, but when you take everything out from the previous sets, it's much better. So Yeah, that, that is one of the big things that I actually, I didn't even realize that Card Game did until I went to one of my casual plays <laughs> last week that they actually started a, well, they got the uh, Harmony uh, set and now a, an actual block set, which is going to be pretty similar to how Magic does their blocks. Yeah, and it gives them more design space. So if you're someone that's trying to get into the game where you don't have a big budget, I would say just invest in the current block. Yep. So, I don't know if they're going to make it three sets or four. I heard Let's three see. sets uh, was going to be the uh, key there. Hmm. Well, uh, but that's off of my information that I was um, provided offhand. We'll have to see if this set's a full-size set. Mm. I'd be interested. Ooh, a lot of cards I haven't seen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I could surprise you. Also, there are cards they add to the set last minute. Um... And I'm fairly certain that the tokens for all the different colors weren't unique. I thought they were all one powers. But then again, I only tested like two or three of the colors. So mm-hmm. anyway. Right. Well, um, I, I know that uh, there's really not a whole lot we could talk about here until the actual release. Um, do you have any uh, heads up to anybody that is going to be attending the pre-release uh, this weekend or at least thinking about it? Um, I mean, it should be a standard affair where it's you get six to eight packs, however many you decide to give us. I think it's eight. Uh, build your deck and whatnot. I don't know how the balance is going to be in terms of whether the commons and uncommons have the meat or the rarer stuff. But um, 
you know, depending on whether they went full size set or half size set, will determine how much you need to collect. But overall, I mean, I think it's going to be fun. I think they did a lot better job in terms of price support because everyone gets two promos. I think it's the well, there's the white promo, and then there's the um, figment token, which looks amazing. I'm I might just buy three kits to do that and not buy a box. <laughs> just to have three tokens. <laughs> Gotta have those tokens, man. Tokens. Anything Alright. Alright, well, we'll go ahead and let uh, uh, Deal uh, go here. Uh, he'll probably be with us next week when we actually talk about the the actual pre-release all together, when we had a chance to play around with the cards and really get a good feel of it. Uh, let us know if you would have any interest in watching us play with our... Um, <clears throat> pre-release decks because i for one to be interested in it but i think it might it might be a little bit more possible since now i have that newer camera that we use for uh, let's plays on the couch yeah that was a pretty decent camera in any case um yeah there's that and we'll go ahead and let deal gris go because uh, i'm sure the guy is pretty exhausted right now yeah I'll be I'll be more I'll be, yeah Zakora. Okay, I'll be I'll be up for it next week. <laughs> All right. All right, and uh, there's a little preview for next week's show, and let's go uh, move on to what we like best: t-shirts. Uh, t-shirts. Depending the quality of the t-shirt. We actually got uh, quite a few uh, new t-shirts in, and some of them I honestly did not see coming, though I'm kind of glad they did. And uh, that's not it, though. Oh dear God, I'm really gonna have to pick up that shirt now. Tenchi Muyo ponies. Oh no! Let me see this one. Uh, I'm just pulling it up now because I honestly wasn't expecting this, but it just—I literally ran across it. Uh, oh damn! Yeah, those work. Yeah, it works uh, for me. Those, 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 all the things. Although, yeah. oh, <laughs> I, f- I find it. In, I find it. I don't know why I find it odd that Aika is doing the rarity wet main thing. Like, w- without the wet mane. Yeah, I don't know either. Maybe, maybe that's just the best... Um, oh, the, you mean the pose. Yeah, yeah, she's doing the pose. Sorry. The Of the wet manes. Yeah. All right. I have to say, um, for just using vectors and having to do custom hair, it's not a bad design. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm I'm trying to get one of the uh, the some of the t-shirts uh, brought up here, but I'm having a little bit of difficulty because... Uh, uh, apparently the artists that made it. Um, let's see. I don't think they vanished or anything. Let's give me one quick second here. All right. Let's let's try my luck at a little bit of Google searching then. Do, 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 do. Well, not Google searching, but just searching. All right, I'll call you. Hey, I was at least. Doing it soft enough so it wasn't overwhelming you. Did I mean it? No, I didn't mean it. Ibusha. What? It's a what? It's a what? Hold on. I, I think, I think uh, one of these actually might be gone. Whoever was doing Make the... Uh, po- I think whoever was doing the pony propaganda shirts might have ended up getting uh, kicked off of somehow. Or they ended the sale. No, I mean, I can't find their shirts at all. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Okay, Hmm. give me just one quick second here. Huh. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Well, yeah, I found fa- I found this T-shirt, but yeah, they're huh, that is really really weird. Okay, I have no idea what's going on with that. So, um, yeah, there were some pony uh, there were some pony T-shirts that were supposed to be uh, um, blah. <coughs> yeah, I got nothing. I'm I'm just gonna move on. Okay, the other T-shirt though that we are that I am show- going to show some interest in. Uh, somebody has actually released. Brony Trekker t-shirts. 
Give me oh, I thought you said brony trucker t-shirts. I'm like, what? Nah. <laughs> no, no, but I found something pretty close but, to that. Uh, I was going to say, they have t-shirts with short circuit? Uh, <laughs> I wish. No, uh, trucker. But, yes. Short circuit's a trucker? Yeah, he drives a yes. truck. Yeah. I need to meet this man. But yeah, they have all because I'm getting my I'm getting my Class A license through one of the trucking companies that we deliver auto parts to. Yeah, but apparently they've combined uh, the different ponies with different styles of starships from Star Trek. Of course, you got right, the I... you got more of the Equestria girl designs with them, and the I'm kind of a little peeved because Twilight has a Voyager. It couldn't have been the Starship Enterprise. To be fair, Voyager was captained by Janeway, and she does tend to go a little bit crazy now and then. Yeah, I know, I know. In all honesty, it does kind of fit. I just wish Twilight had the Enterprise, because that would have been just the perfect combo, combo for me yeah. right there. I'm just try well, Freddy and AJ have Enterprises, so... Yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out if, I should, if it should be appropriate that the nerd has the most penis-shaped ship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that! Oh, oh my God! Well, if you think about it, though, Photoshop, on. Photoshop is the one you know with what? the John, giant hey, ball. I'm gonna go get. I'm gonna go get something that has caffeine in it, so I wake up and I stop making stupid jokes like that. Mm. That was inappropriate. But they're yeah, there, there's me. that. So um, something a little uh, interesting to look forward to. Uh, DM12. Oh my. Oh my. But yeah, I I'm kind of sold on the Tenchi Muyo shirt here already. I'm just gonna have to jump on that when, first chance I get. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> that was actually one of the first animes I ever, ever really watched, so it's got a special place in my heart. Oh look, creepy Luna. Yes, creepy Luna. So what better way to talk about creepy Luna than one of Luna's books? Princess Luna and the Festival of the Winter Moon has officially been released, and we even have a nice little cover for it. So for seven dollars, you can get a hardcover version of Princess Luna, and her <laughs> not so evil Luna cover. Not so evil Luna cover. <laughs> they should have no. had that evil Luna on the cover. No, they should not. It's the Festival of the Winter Moon, not the Festival of the Winter Howl. Well, it could be a Nightmare Night book cover. He has a point. <laughs> mm, got me there. Yeah, I got you. But yeah, uh, this was um, wrote, written by G.M. Burrow, who once again uh, wrote, writes a lot of the My Little Pony books and also did uh, one of the MLP episodes that actually went rather well, The where Pinkie Pie was basically losing her mind trying to keep a secret. The one where Pinkie Pie knows. Yes, Pinkie Pie knows. Dun, and dun. who's ready for Cakes and Comics? Oh, I read this one. It's fun. Well, don't spoil it for anybody else. Well, everyone dies at the end, so... Well, I no, don't know. No, they don't. The diabetes might do it, but... Yeah, Pinkie Pie and Celestia's comic has finally officially come out. Well, of course, we already showed off the covers. We showed our interest. I haven't had a chance to read it. Check it out. Yeah, I think it's worth it. I definitely gotta get the... I wanna get this cover for it, though. I think this is the more hilarious of the two. Yeah, that is a pretty funny cover. Mm. And finally, for the last little bit of news, who wants to build a better pony on their Android? Uh, what? <laughs> do, wait, do we have the technology? We have the we technology. We can rebuild it. You can rebuild it with Avatar Maker Pony, which has oh, been released so... on Google Play. And oh, Jesus. It gives... So, it's basically the <clears throat> age-old pony maker, but brought to Android and gussied up a bit. Not just a bit. They actually put a lot of customization options in this. So this is uh, the Pony Maker done up to the teens. Give you a better idea. This is how crazy you can actually get with it if you really wanted to. Oh dear God! They made the love child of Discord and Rainbow Dash. Yeah, but please, for the love of all that solely, do not go that far. If you create this, we will officially ban you from the show for having a horrible OC. This is why I My stick with OC. the robot. Is the best OC. It's married to Celestia and has many babies. And unfortunately, Deathclaw uh, made a joke about grabbing his iPhone 5. This is on Android devices. You don't get this, iTunes. <laughs> Screw you, iTunes. Screw you, iTunes. This is one we got. 
<laughs> Are we supposed and to feel proud honesty, of that? this is at least a, a little good bit. reference, Scott. I don't know. Considering we literally have a better version of the Pony Maker for ourselves, I'd say yes. Let's go ahead and uh, laugh it up a bit. In fact, I'm going to go. I'm going to try to make a uh, my version of uh, Circuit Main here on it uh, sometime later this week. So Good be afraid. That, be very afraid. If you <clears> need <throat> your cutie mark to be uploaded, I have one stored and ready to go. All right, I'll let you know. But that is it for the news. Now for a little bit of fancy messages and suggestions. Uh, there's quite a few things I uh, mentioned. Uh, those of you who have heard of the Steam game Melody Escape, which uh, looks like a game where you play music, uh, whatever is on your music library, and you get to move a character depending on the music, they have released pony mods for the game on the uh, Ooh. workshop. And now another bit of a shout out here. Uh, oddly enough, because of uh, Rise of the Clockwork Stallions, this, I feel this was a good time to mention this as well. Now, some of you might remember several months back, we talked about an art, uh, 3D adventure game that was being designed with ponies in mind um, that somebody was making called Questria. Now, apparently, um, not a whole lot was mentioned about this game, and uh, it kind of fell by the wayside until earlier today I was looking over the Steam's latest releases, and Questria was released. Of course, it got released a little bit differently than I expected. Now, I did a little bit of research in this, and I did find out that this is the same exact Questria that was being designed initially with ponies in mind. Mm -hmm. Apparently, uh, sometime later in the development cycle, they had to, um, they decided to remove the pony aspect because they were afraid of lawsuit potential that was currently going on at the time. I would say good on them for saying, you know what, let's do a fighting is magic type thing. Well, yeah, they didn't have much of a choice, and this was before, they didn't ever get a season desist. So just before anybody starts uh, pointing out Hasbro bad, they never got a season desist. But they decided to be on the safe side, especially since they really couldn't afford any kind of lawyers if they did get some sort of season desist. But I think it looks kind of neat. It reminds me of a strategy game, if I'm looking at it right. Uh, it like StarCraft. Is, it, it's, it's kind of an eight-player adventure RPG-ish RPG still. Now, I decided I'm gonna, I wanted to get a shout-out to this either way, because this was created initially with the pony aspect in mind. It does look like a fun game, regardless. <laughs> and, you know, it, it, maybe they'll be able to find a way to put ponies in the game later or something. But, you know, they... It was initially designed that way, you know, get, let's give them a little bit of support if you want to. It just recently got released on Steam, uh, about $10 right now on sale. So no, might, they might don't have ponies in it. <laughs> uh, well, that's just for some people to decide on. And also, uh, there's um, a little bit more information in fan submissions and suggestions. We got more lore on the fight on them fighting cards this time, talking about Palm, the uh, very sheepish sheep. We also have a flash game called The Last Dash, and n little pony quizzes by Hasbro themselves. So you can uh, quiz yourself and see how well you know the pony stuff compared to what Hasbro knows. And now for the challenge of the week. Our challenge was movie night. And we had two submissions from both Tokoi and Dr. Bristol. So Tokoi, explain yourself. Well, I thought about the let's go to a lobby little thing. And I thought, hmm, that would be neat. But then I realized this is Monday after I finished the Halloween pick on Wednesday. Uh, that was a tough one. Yeah, I, I, oh, right, that doesn't remind me, but yeah. Yeah, but I basically decided, you know what, have a little bit of, of Cold Dust's stream with ours here on the show, and I just decided to go, you know what, I'm a robot, oil can, soda, done. But we got the Brown Show popcorn and the Zypco brand candy. I would not eat the Zypco brand candy for fear of dying. Damn it! Now I want to go watch that opening sequence from uh, the Arctic Hunger Force movie again with Mastodon. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie actually, but yeah, here here's the uh, picture in question with all of the people done with different costume designs. Mm -hmm. 
Of course, um, it's up to you guys to guess who's dressed up as what. There is a list on the DA page for this, but it's so small because, well... There's a I lot can't... of people. He, he really did... I wonder uh, what D's dressed up as. It looks like uh, he's dressed up as himself. Well, <laughs> I decided to go with Constantine for him. Ah, okay. And the reason some of the arms are wonky is because, well, I'm not good at drawing humans, and a lot of the forearms are the same shape with me just drawing the arms in an arc. Hey, could have just gone with ponies in costume, but yeah, whatever works for you, man. Eh. Okay, I can tell if he's trying to be Superman no, me? or Angry <laughs> Joe there. Uh, Angry Joe. Oh, wait, you, oh, you didn't have Sketchy Wolf in here? No, I didn't do that because look how many people I had. And I would have had a put me in a tunnel snake's outfit. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fair enough. But yeah, apparently you have us as a brand of snacks. Uh, the one thing I can't quite get well, wrap my head around is why do you have a uh, slicks insignia there in the popcorn instead of comets? Mm, I'm still in the slick phase. Ah, uh, hey, sorry. Nah, that, that's why I asked. I was just curious, really. Yeah, and plus, I think it's always been a picture until we get better, more representation of comet that slicks been there. Even if he's not joining in as often. No, I got you. And we'll probably get more com comet representation as we go. Mm hmm. All uh, right. And let's go on to uh, Dr. Bristol, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. I Waiting did. for it. What the fuck yeah, is he? That... What? <laughs> uh, read the description. That's, That's a the lot. <laughs> All right. Here's the description. Um,. It was movie night two nights ago, and Twilight Sparkle and Dr. Bristol decided to watch movies in the house. Bristol decided that he and Twilight should watch anime movies. She liked his choice and decided to watch them too. Throughout Saturday night, they watched anime, ranging from Sailor Moon, Akami Got Kill, Kill a Kill, Soul Eater, Space Dandy, Azumanga Dial, Excel Saga, and Ghost in the Shell. Despite his intense studies, Dr. Bristle managed to relax and hang out with uh, his best favorite pony. Twilight Sparkle knows how to tease him as they watch sexy scenes of each movie. These two ponies are so cute together. I will personally wow. sink this ship. <laughs> I will sink ego. this ship. Uh, oh, there's a, a big sign that says Ego just... and it has his name on it. I'm just sitting here going like, wait, this is a movie, wait, this is a movie night? He just he just described like he just described like a week a week and a half's worth of just of like not getting off the couch if you if you want to watch it all. Actually, here's here's if I really want to poke out Space Sandy, Kill a Kill, a Kami Got Kill, Soul Eater. What sexy scenes are supposed to be in those things? What well, sexy oh, scenes are in any of these things? None of these have sexy scenes. Sailor Moon does not have sexy scenes. A Kami Got Kill, Kill a Kill, Soul Eater, Space Dandy, Azumanga Dio. Azu Manga Dial. Those are a bunch of high school kids. Oh, for crying out loud. Excel Saga. There, there's nothing sexy about that. Wait, 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 wait. Circuit, circuit, episode 26. Except, I was about to actually mention, except for episode 26, but that got really weird. Dude, there's a reason it's called going too far. Good point. <laughs> and Ghost in the Shell. There, Ghost in the Shell is intriguing and deep and thought-provoking. Maybe, if a, I recall maybe a little was sexy. Scene where, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Circuit, Maybe. there was an episode of that where, where Makoto propo proposed to have sex with, like, a 12-year-old boy. Yep, yep. I remember that. That was some... Um, I... Well, okay, then. I, I guess we got that. I, I don't know if he was 12. I, I forget. I, I know he was I know He was, he young. was, he was young. Uh, either case, uh, so, yeah, Dr. Bristle's movie night. I will be, I will be seeking the ninjas on him tonight. I have him on speed dial. Yes, do it now. And of course, I would bring up that background. Why not? Anyway, <laughs> because it's best best background. Sure. Yeah. Why not? 